I heard a rumor that pink is in this season mm. for Salmon, wedding dresses. Sa- uh, for wedding dresses, That's a very I'm, light pink, yeah. A light pink. Would you recommend doing a color or a statement piece or just keeping it classic and white? Oh, yeah, once again, the timeless thing, you know, decide is this timeless. Mm -hmm. Uh, We had a bride once that looked as if she ran through the bush. It's uh, the dress, I won't explain, but I mean, and then uh, she asked her, how do I look? And it's Uh before the ceremony. Are you honest with her? No, of course (laughs) not. We can't change it now. Uh, Sometimes you have to lie, but I'm sure God will understand. Um, So so I would say just keep it timeless, you know, and uh, hair uh, hair and makeup and the dress, it all goes together and the Mm -hmm. shoes. So things you can do on the evening. Uh, you can have a certain soft feminine look for your ceremony, you know, and you have your dress and you have your accessories, your jewelry, your tiara, whatever you're mm-hmm. going to do. Your hair then will actually be in a much more classical uh, princess style, for example. Right. Then for the reception, you have your hair and makeup artist handy and you go for a complete smoky, dark dinner Sounds look like so with fun. red lips mm. and you change your hair. You literally mm. take it from up to down. Your jewelry you can change, your accessories, even if you have money for the expensive shoes that you want, you can even do a shoe change. Mm. Um, so that's what I would rather recommend. You know, a lot of brides nowadays, they still opt for a dance dress. Um, so you can do your opening dance in your wedding dress, but then an hour later, your bridesmaids if they're still there um, (laughs) they will assist you and you put on your tango dress and you do a complete tango surprise and that's a good bonding between you and the groom also six months to a year before the wedding you actually go for dance classes Mm -hmm. okay and what about hair Um, are veils in this season what kind of hair pieces in you know I sometimes do disagree of brides that don't want to do a veil there's a certain thing about a veil that catches the sun and it is amazing for your photos it's also amazing if you have a garden ceremony and you walk down the aisle Um, I mean if you have that lucky moment and that smile of the angels and the the sun catches that veil it is so romantic okay and makeup what are some makeup trends this season? If a bride says, you know, my sister is going to do my makeup. She had did a course 10 years oh, ago. Geez. I went, oh, you know no. what it's going to do to the photos. People don't realize there's experts out there. Right. They've been trained to do it. They've been trained to give you cheekbones. Mm. They've been trained to make you look amazing. Mm. And that's what they do. And they work alongside the photographer to establish that perfect look. I mean, lashes are very big. Um, False lashes. False yeah. lashes. Mm-hmm. And then also have your hair and makeup artist on standby, mm-hmm. as we said earlier, for that look change and for that touch up. Best seasonal flowers. Oh, that's very difficult. Tulips are readily available all year. Mm-hmm. Um, I think I'll be stinking rich if I could grow peonies in South Africa. But as you know, yeah. they're only available two weeks of, of the year, yeah. which is October, November, uh, d- depending. Um, roses remains a hot favorite. You know, I always try and steer away from indigenous flowers. I shouldn't say that live, but... It's once again one of those looks that you're in love with now and then later you think, what the hell did I do? So just just keep that for pre-dinner drinks, your color splashes, your cocktails for pre-dinner drinks where it's fun, it's lounge pockets, uh, but for your reception, do the Mm. classical flower, flower thing.